and welcome. You are watching the Straight Beer News. I am your host, Chris Hardy, and today we'll be talking about a Uinta new can design. So I'm relatively new to the craft beer scene in the community. I haven't gotten a late start myself, and I just wanted to say a couple of things that I've recognized among the, the community is that it's very diverse, at least from what I've seen in, in my area. Uh, you know, it's diverse not only just racially, but also uh, by age and demographic. And something that I really think is pretty cool and that kind of has attracted me to the community and to stay within it and to participate in uh, various ways. Uh, one of the things that I've seen in the community is that there's a large group of people that like to participate in outdoor recreation, outdoor activities, whether it's running or uh, road biking or mountain biking, hiking, backpacking, all sorts of different things, boating, uh, swimming, just active lifestyle, all those kind of things are, are a big part of people's lives in, uh, in the craft beer scene. Well, it comes as uh, no surprise then to see Uinta, the Salt Lake City, Utah brewery, uh, kind of taking this ethos uh, or this uh, zeitgeist and kind of embodying it uh, and kind of uh, welcoming it and embracing it with a new can design that they've, uh, that they've introduced. The Uinta beer in question is their golden ale and what they have decided to do is to uh, promote a different national park on their can of the beer. Now the beer itself has remained unchanged. It's only the design of the can itself and they're going to uh, promote, present, or honor a different national park. So they have chosen eight national parks. They are Yosemite, Yellowstone, Arches, the Great Smoky Mountains, Acadia, Grand Canyon, Rocky Mountains, and the Everglades. They presented the information in a launch video that was put onto their website, uh, and it was taken at the Grand Arches National Park with uh, their head brewer describing the, uh, the reason why they're doing it. For example, Salt Lake City, he said, is uh, five hours or less away from five national parks. So for them, promoting national parks is a, is a good business. It's something that all of their, uh, their customers enjoy and are familiar with and, and love to, to use as recreation. In a, in a statement on the website about the new can design, uh, they mentioned that, it is, uh, that they're doing this as a way to raise awareness and uh, appreciation for the national parks in our country. It doesn't seem, though, that it's their intention to give any money or, or donate a portion of their sales to any foundation, for example, a National Parks Foundation, uh, to actually give back to those national parks. It seems, which I think would be the next logical step, um, if you're wanting to promote the, the national parks and say how great and honorable they are, and to miss the opportunity to provide a donation to that foundation just seems like a little mis uh, miscalculation on their part. I think it's a great idea, however, without that second step, it kind of leaves the consumer to think that they're just capitalizing on the interests of their, of their customers. Uh, it's just a commercial endeavor for them. They want to promote the, the parks, but without that extra mile, without that extra step of providing a monetary donation or something of value to the foundation to keep those parks up and clean and, and running properly. Overall, I think it's a good idea. I like the can designs that I've seen and I look forward to trying one, finding one myself. There's, I did realize that they don't distribute to Michigan, so uh, the next closest place is Ohio. So I may have to make a, a quick side road trip to pick me up some and uh, have a look. They launched this month, so they should be out on shelves. If not now, then look for them in the near future. Well, that'll be it for this time, guys. Thank you once again for watching. This has been the Straight Beer News, and I've been your host, Chris Hardy. Don't forget to check me out on the, on the social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, you can also find me on Untapped. If you're there, you can find me there as well. All that information where to find me is below in the description of the video. And if you could please, if you like what I do, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, I would appreciate that. Also, if you could subscribe, that would be great. That way you don't miss any episodes in the future. You can find them right at the top of your feed in YouTube, and you can watch more of me there. 
So the, the subscribe button should be coming up. It's the circular uh, Old English style S. Click on that and it'll take you to the subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.